Hey everybody, this is Story Dude, coming at you once again with some uh, some juicy, juicy stories that we've found on the internet. So let's go ahead and start reading some of them, huh? Am I the a-hole for blocking my mother-in-law off Facebook, even though it's the only way she sees photo of child? I am a 24-year-old woman, and my husband, a 25-year-old male, have one year old one have one one year old <laughs> child together i have quite a big extended family that i hardly ever see so i post many photos of my child on facebook i have all the privacy settings on and have gone through my friends list deleting people i don't know anymore i have about 250 friends on facebook and they are all family or i know them personally my mother-in-law on the other hand has over 8,000 people on Facebook. She has zero privacy settings and approves anyone who asks to follow her. Right after Babe was born, she started stealing my photos off my Facebook and posting them to her own, like she had taken them herself. She would post half-naked photos of my child. She stole probably 200 photos off of my Facebook page, and she prints these photos out and posts them around her house. All of that doesn't really seem like a problem. Just a grandma loving her grandbaby, right? Wrong. I have younger family members with photos of my child on my Facebook. My family members, not hers. She has my photos of younger cousins holding babe around her house. She has photos of my mom holding babe around her house. She has tried to tag herself in my photos on Facebook, so they show up on hers as well. I tried to talk to her, ask her not to take my photos off Facebook, and I would send her photos to post as her own if she would just ask. She said sorry that she wouldn't do it again, so I let it go. Two months ago, just before Babe's first birthday, she posted an online album of my daughter. 125 photos in this album. 120 of them from my Facebook. My mother, my grandma, my aunts, and my cousins, minors whose parents have let me know they do not want their photos on her page, are all in this book, for over 8,000 people to see. Also in this book is my photos from having my child. Me, no pants, no clothes, looking very rough. I almost didn't make it. I had a hemorrhage. So these photos are very personal, yet she posts them for so many people to see. I don't post photos of my daughter without being clothed. I'm too nervous about the creeps on the internet. But my mother-in-law does not care. She had five naked photos of the baby in that book. So two months ago, the day the album was posted, I blocked her. My husband was on board, and so was my sister-in-law. But now I have a few family members telling me that I'm the a-hole because it's the only way she sees photos of babe. I'm so confused why OP has any doubt in her mind about this situation. Clearly, the mother-in-law is totally insane and is acting very inappropriately. You are absolutely right to block her you know no question here not the a-hole but you should unblock her long enough to report every single photo yeah that's that's a good uh that's a good piece of advice there um she would post half naked photos of my child my mother my grandma my aunts my cousins minors whose parents have let me know they do not want their photos on her page are all in this book for over 8,000 people to see. Also in this book is my photos from having my child, me, no pants, no clothes. Really hard to read that over again. It's so it's so crazy. But yeah, you can report all the photos that bother you on Facebook for this. Sharing intimate images like that publicly without consent is against community standards. The worst ones should get taken down. Not the a-hole, obviously. You're looking out for your child's safety. Um, I, did I miss the part in the story where they just tried to Oh, she did try to tell her to stop, and she agreed, but then she kept doing it. Yeah, because the talking did not work. Your child, your rules. If mother-in-law refuses to follow them, then she has to accept the consequences of her choices. That's something you would tell a child. You know, you, you, you say there's going to be consequences to your, to your choices, but then you reach a point in life where you're saying that kind of stuff to your parents or people in the, in the generation above you. It's a, it's a weird thing. For, for those of us who are lucky enough to, to get older, your parents kind of become your children. It's, it's really weird. Not the a-hole. It's not the only way she can see pictures of the baby. You've made it clear you'll send her some if she asks. 
Yeah, but if you send them to her, she's she might just put them on Facebook. Maybe send her a f- physical photo album, maybe. It's absolutely unacceptable that she posted very personal and private pictures without permission. You've talked with her and she's still doing it, so blocking her on Facebook is your only option. She could have prevented this by taking your clearly stated concerns seriously, but she chose to ignore them instead. Yeah. Not the a-hole. Tell those flying monkeys to back off with their opinions. Okay, by that she means the other family members who are saying that she's mean. Yeah, ignore them. They don't know what they're talking about. Also, those that have minor children and don't want them on her Facebook should tell her to take them down, and if she doesn't, report it to Facebook. Am I the a-hole for calling my wife the most beautiful woman in the world in front of her sister? I am a male 29-year-old doctor, and my wife, 29-year-old female, is in another high-demand, high-pay field with long hours. So she's a lawyer. (laughs) I have recently been working more odd hours as opposed to my wife's normal eight, about six routine. As such, we have not really seen much of each other for about a week. We're also just normally very lovey-dovey, cuddling and all that other stuff. We make sure not to do PDA and keep it not sexual most of the time. Also, her sister, female 33, has recently divorced from her husband for reasons that are irrelevant in my opinion. Just for context, her sister had an Indian-style arranged marriage and does not see the point of love marriages in general. She is taking this quite hard, as in India, where she got her previous marriage from, there is sadly a lot of stigma surrounding women who have divorced, which means if she doesn't find a love marriage, she will likely be all alone for the rest of her life, as very few people will want to arrange a marriage with her. I personally think the whole concept of arranged marriages is fine, but a lot of the standards and stigma star- surrounding it are quite backwards. So, my sister has been staying with me and my wife. We're okay with it, and she's honestly a very nice roommate, always cleaning up after herself, super respectful of rules in the house. Recently, my wife and I got lucky, and I had my work day end at 5 on Friday, and she came home early. We were pretty excited, and once we were both home, we were together. We decided to watch a movie together after a while, and we were lying on the couch cuddling, sweet-talking to each other a little bit. Her sister came into the room and sat down on the other couch and watched the movie. We weren't really saying anything, to be honest. Just stuff like how we missed each other, how it was so painful to be without each other, how we loved each other a lot, that sort of stuff. I was trying to be soft, because the sister looked like she was actually watching the film, but at one point I just held my wife's face and told her, you're the most beautiful woman in the world. I didn't notice it at the time, but I believe that was when her sister left the room. I'm just going to interject here and say that my heart is just melting reading this. It's been so many stories that we've done together where it's just people treating each other like crap in a relationship. And these two people, they're doing it right. And I love it. (laughs) It's great. Uh, Later on in the night, after my wife had gone off to prepare for bed, her sister came out and yelled at me. She basically accused me of cuddling with my wife specifically to mock the fact she doesn't have a husband anymore and that I was saying that she wasn't beautiful when I told my wife she was the most beautiful. I tried to calm her down, but she got more riled up, fixating on comparisons between my wife and her, getting a bit too close to me for my liking and asking me questions like, what makes her hotter than me? She then held out for a hug, crying a bit, but I shook my head because I was a bit concerned how she went from yelling at me to wanting physical comfort. Eventually, she just backed off and said, okay, tearfully, and walked away. Am I the a-hole for saying it? Should I have given her a hug? I don't know. Well, I mean, OP, you're not the a-hole. Um, and I don't know. I, that sounds like a very dangerous hug. Who knows if you'd given her a hug? I, I think you did. I think you did good. You're in the clear in my book. She yelled and then went in for a hug. Holy passive aggressive Batman. Not the a-hole. She's envious and is projecting stuff. Yeah. Not the a-hole. The sister's issues are not your issues, and she's making them your issues. You and your wife need to sit down and have a chat with her about boundaries. 
She is trampling all over yours. Her misery is not your problem. You guys have helped her out and are being there for her. Now she's becoming a problem. It needs to be nipped in the bud if you want to keep your home feeling like a homely place for you and your wife. That's the priority here. And you should be prioritizing your wife and your marriage over your sister's sadness. Not the a-hole. She lashed out at you for, checks notes, being affectionate with your wife. Her insecurities aren't your problem, and I think you made all the right, I think you made the right call in not hugging her. Not the a-hole. Absolutely not. You need to tell your wife about this and make sure that she, that you aren't in this situation again. This is dangerous behavior. You have a great relationship with your wife and you shouldn't have to behave differently for anyone else. I don't know if it's a good idea to, to snitch on the sister to the wife. Try to stay out of it, man. Don't 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 get caught up in, in their in their relationship or cause any trouble between them. That could backfire miserably on you. Not the a-hole. That's some weird ass behavior from the sister there. Almost as if she's trying to come in between you and your wife, whose partner's sister asks the spouse if they think she's beautiful or not. It's unnatural and well done for how you responded. For sure. It's a weird situation. Now I'm, now I'm second guessing whether you should not tell the wife. You should tell your wife or not. I don't know. Don't listen to me. I'm just some, some dude on the internet. Um, and that's going to be it for me here. And uh, yeah, wishing all of you a great day out there. Try to be like that couple. You know, love each other and be good.